Femlep. Talking Science. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, I'm going to explain to my friends why I'm still studying. Well, have you ever thought that 90% of the cancers are curable when we detect them on an early stage? To put it in another way, an early diagnosis of cancer is the best cure that we have at the moment. Recently, some sophisticated techniques have been created, call it molecular imaging. These techniques are basically scanners, picture cameras that take pictures of the tumor, but they do it with a very high resolution. So the problem is that these cameras are not able to detect the tumor on their own. So they still need a signal from the patient coming out. So here is the question. Can we scientists do a unique tool that all these cameras are able to detect? Yes, we can. <laughs> Here we go, a Swiss knife. One tool, different functionalities. So let's go back to the reality, and let's take this Swiss knife as a nanoparticle. In our lab, we are developing a multifunctional nanoparticle. If you imagine that is, this is a tiny little particle, this should be the core. There is a magnetic core, be able to detect by a MRI scan, magnetic resonance imaging. But we can add another functionality, like a label, to be able to detect them by a PET imaging. We can also put a fluorescence dye, and therefore we imagine it through optical imaging. And last, we can put a key that is a targeting agent that goes... Once we inject these nanoparticles into the body, this key goes straight away to where the cancer is located, to where all these receptors are overexpressed over our cancer cells without damaging healthy tissue. So, this is not... Uh, the, there is another thing. These nanoparticles can have an anti-cancer drug inside of them. And this way, when the nanoparticle is, inside, is over the cancer cells, having this. We kill them. Well, so I already showed you that the nanoparticles is not a multimodal imaging agent, but it's also a personalized therapeutic agent. That means two functionalities, or even more, in one single tiny fluid of particles. This is a very nice story that I don't want to leave behind my laboratory bench. I really hope one day these nanoparticles get into the clinical and therefore improve people's lives. Thank you very much.